I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. The Lord's Supper and the Cross. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, share, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, making the gifts of Christ Jesus known to youth and young adults, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get our app, it's available on all major platforms. Sharing is caring when it comes to Higher Things content and donate. Your tax-deductible gift to Higher Things keeps us a-rolling. <laughs> we need your gifts in these dark times. So, I'm always a day ahead when it comes to Holy Week because I always think that these videos are watched by people maybe after work or the, or the like or after school for young people. Um, and so I want to look at the Lord's Supper, which is tomorrow's text from Luke from Luke's gospel, but I, I, I just, I want you to, to contemplate today the connection between the Lord's Supper and the sacrament. First of all, what is the Lord's Supper? It is the body and blood of Jesus. It doesn't change into the body and blood of Jesus. It doesn't represent the body and blood of Jesus. It doesn't symbolize the body and blood of Jesus. It's not a sign pointing to the body and blood of Jesus. It is the body and blood of Jesus. And if you have an issue with that, I don't know what to tell you. Take it up with Jesus. Take, eat, this is my body. Take, drink, this is my blood of the New Testament shed for you for the remission of sin. That's what he says. And if ever on the last day, I have to stand before God and go, he's like, why did you on YouTube say that it was the body and blood of my son? I would say, well, your son should have said something different. And if that sounds crazy to you, don't worry. That's a Luther quote, except for the YouTube part. Anyway, um, the body and blood of Jesus. What does it do? Well, my favorite Luther quote, my favorite Luther quote. My favorite Luther quote is really simple. If you seek the forgiveness of sins, you don't have to drag yourself back to the cross, says Dr. Luther. There you will find your forgiveness won. It's, 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 a, it's being obtained, but there you won't find it delivered. If you want the forgiveness of sins, you go to the sacrament of the altar. There you will find what was won on the cross delivered to you in your mouth. That pretty much sums it all up. The connection between the cross and the Lord's Supper is the connection between salvation's achievement and salvation's delivery. Your salvation was won on the cross, but it weren't, it wasn't delivered there. And as much as we sing, were you there when we crucified the Lord? We weren't. We can't. We can't get into the DeLorean, take the thing up to 88 miles an hour, zoom, back to AD 33-ish where Jesus was crucified. It doesn't work that way. But God takes the suffering and death of Jesus, the blood flowing from his side, and he delivers it to us in the sacrament. That's what the sacrament is all about. The sacrament is about the delivery of the forgiveness of sins, the delivery of Calvary. So as you go through this week, that is why the sacrament is so important. I challenge you to think about this the next time you're at the sacrament. What was won for me on the cross is delivered to me in the sacrament. That's why the language of sacrifice is all in there poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins, his body broken for us on the cross. The language is the language of sacrifice. The remembrance at the, the supper, do this in remembrance of me, is, is asking God to remember the sacrifice of Jesus. Look, I don't know if you know this, but you can remember the, sacri the, the sacrifice of Jesus until the cow comes home, cows come home and they never come home for me, but, you know, that's an expression, Southern expression, and it doesn't do you any good. The big deal is that God remembers the sacrifice of Jesus, that God doesn't count your sins against you. The zakar, do this in remembrance of me, that occurs, occurs at the, at the sacrament point. And there, Jesus gives to us all that he wants, and he puts it in our mouths, and we are on the receiving end of that gift. Think about it. There is a un, unpolar outable. I can't think of it. You cannot separate 
the sacrifice of Christ from the, from the, the sacrament of the altar. The sacrament, the, the sacrament does not have the sacrifice of Christ. That was the problem with the Roman mass. The sacrifice does not occur in the service. The sacrifice occurred on the, on the cross. The sacrifice is delivered, delivered in the sacrament of the altar. And so now, one last challenge. On Good Friday, most churches, most churches have an empty altar. The altar is stripped on Maundy Thursday. Ask your pastor to take you up there and take a look at the altar. Most Lutheran altars have five crosses on it. To confess, a sacrifice didn't occur here. Calvary is the sacrifice that is delivered here. Take a look at your altar. See if it has the five crosses. And if it doesn't, talk to your pastor about it. Because it might be on the pyramids. Sometimes it's on the pyramids instead. But think about it. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.